So yeah, Metallic Madness Zone. I'm pretty sure this was a Sonic CD level. I've said that like 30 times and I stand by it. I haven't looked it up yet, but I'm pretty sure it is. Just the enemies, the vibe, the gimmicks, it all feels very Sonic CD to me. The uh, shrinking was a thing in Sonic CD. I remember that being a really, really big thing <laughs> that a lot of people talked about. You know, with Kid Sonic, Baby Sonic, Cute Sonic, whatever you wanted to call them. And, uh, you know, that's a big part of the gimmick in Act 2. Well, Act 1 is definitely not uh, based around that. Act 1 is based around more the gimmick of jumping into the foreground or the background. Which is a fun gimmick if you do it right, but I feel like it's underutilized here. Like, you use it three times in this level, and each time is for a very short amount of time. Not even really long enough to explore much, which, yeah, okay, I get it. It's not supposed to be the big part of the level, and being in, um, you know, that foreground situation can be annoying to some people, for, especially if you're in it for an extended period of time, or that background situation, I'm sorry, because we're in the foreground right now. But, you know, I, I can get that, but I would love, I, I'd like to see more done with that than just, hey, we're shifting the perspective at which you're playing the game. You know, does that make sense? I think it makes sense. It makes sense to me. Yeah, but of course it makes sense to me. Anyway. But, um, yeah, so Metallic Madness. Uh, especially Knuckles, not that hard a level, but I do get turned around a bit. Ugh. I hate this part. When I was trying to run through this earlier, I wanted to tear my hair out. Yeah, um... So I had to re-record this part uh, again. Um, I, again, I recorded this all in one shot, so it still has the audio issue, unfortunately. But um, I had to re-record this part because I died, like, so many times. <laughs> uh, as you can tell by the end of the uh, last episode, I was uh, starting to run out of steam. You know, uh... A lot of my recording sessions, these I record these, you know, uh, in the middle of the night, because that's uh, when a lot of my free time. It's my when my schedule happens to be. So I wind up being a night owl a lot, and um, unfortunately, the side effect of that is I'm kind of like always tired whenever I start doing anything. So uh, I tend to run out of steam pretty quickly in some of these games, which kind of sucks, but. Honestly, uh, I, it doesn't bother me that much. I, I still get to play games. I still get to have fun. You know, it's it's all very uh, entertaining to me. Entertaining, entertaining enough, I guess is the word I'm saying. Or uh, I guess is what I'm thinking of. But, um, yeah, so we've made it to the boss. And the boss is, once again, the same one from Sonic's uh, playthrough. The Sonic Scrap Brain Zone boss. Which, um, again, an easy way to uh, avoid jumping, getting hit by those electric balls is to jump through the center of them and then just don't move. Stand at one spot, let them come to you, and as they cluster, they'll leave a space for you to jump through. It's really easy. But, um, so what you will have to do here uh, is you want to hit Eggman four times, and then you want to, uh, well, hopefully hit him four times, but after you hit him the four times, it's going to stop the electric ball attack and then you're going to have the ability to uh or and then it's going to switch to that rapid pace fire or rapid fire mode where the screen starts flashing red and literally everything you do causes e or every attack from Eggman is just consistent waves of pow 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 see four five didn't hit that one didn't hit that one hit that one and as you see the last one I hit I actually guessed right which one he was going to come out of because he didn't come out of any of those so I was just guessing that he would be in that one uh, the other chance or the off chance that he actually happened to be in the uh, same one that he came down in the first time would have uh, kind of sucked because then I'd be squashed a bit money on it and I would have had to replay it again and then well I would be ripping hair out of my scalp but now we move on to act 2 
where the main gimmick is not jumping into the foreground or the background, but being shrunk down to the size of a chibi character and running through the level. That's also the gimmick of the boss fight. Fun. But, so, when you encounter a blue laser, you're going to want to jump into it, because it will shrink you, and then uh, the red laser will make you grow. And when you encounter these turntable things, you'll see the uh, spinning slats in the wall. You can notice that when you encounter those turntable things, you'll move between the foreground and the background again, but not in the same way that you did last time. Now you'll be able to move uh, either in front of or behind these green slats that rotate in the wall. Doing so will let you access special hidden items like item boxes or get around obstacles that are presented in your path. It's a really neat little gimmick. Um, kind of a better way of doing the uh, expansion gimmick from last time. But yeah, look, it's Tiny Knuckles. He's so cute. And um, yes, we are going to see Super Tiny Knuckles in this act too. Because I had to see if you could do that. Because you couldn't be super in Sonic CD because they didn't have Chaos Emeralds or Super or Mode. They had Time Stones. <laughs> they had gimmicks and excuses. But Super Tiny Knuckles is very fun to play with. Also, yeah, I thought that I could just go through there and that part would lower. Little did I know that I had to drop down that tunnel that was right to my left. Because I'm smart. Fly over the spikes that are impaled into the ground to get the uh, ring box and yay we're big again and hey look an extra life box that I'm just not gonna bother getting it's not worth it also found another giant ring so that's cool if you're still looking for him, there's another one for you. Although by this point, I would hope that you'd have found them all. Or at least collected them all. The stages themselves require a lot of practice, yeah. But once you get it down, it's actually pretty easy to get them all. And Super Tiny Knuckles! He's invincible. He's badass. He glows pink! And he's like twice as fast. He can't fly, but... He can still kick some serious ass. And we're just going to hop into the special stage so I don't, you know, burn Super and wind up doing that in the boss fight. Because I just wanted to see if you could get Super Tiny Knuckles. That'd be, that was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty neat. Plus, if I remember correctly, I get hit like within the first part of the boss fight. So I couldn't go Super if I wanted to anyway. Because I'm good like that. Also, again, gliding breaks this game in ways unimaginable. But look at that. We've shrunk down to tiny size. And after getting dropped and making our way over to the right and avoiding the saw blades. Hit the checkpoint. Welcome to our boss fight. Where, once again, just like in Sonic stage, we have to fight Slot Machine Eggman. He's going to drop the Amy dolls. He's going to drop the Sonic 2 bosses. And he's going to drop the Sonic 1 boss from Mystic Labyrinth Zone, I think is what it was. The one that dropped fire on the ground. And there's the Sonic 2 drill car. And there's the other Mystic, Bo or Mystic Labyrinth Zone. Yeah, Mystic Labyrinth Zone boss. And he stole all my rings, so now I can't go Super Muckles even if I wanted to. Hit him once. Trigger another one. Go destroy that. Come on, you just have to hit the drill cart once. One more time on the drill car. Come on, it's not that hard. Hit the drill car. Now we have to trigger the other two slots. One of them's another drill car, and then the last one is an Amy robot. One. Two. And wait for it. Three. Now, let's just take out the last Amy robot. And then uh, Eggman's latched to temp is a fly to the top of the screen, and then it'll start uh, descending down, raining energy balls on you. You just have to hit the uh, slot machine once to make him drop out, and that's how you beat Act 2 of Metal Metallic Madness Zone. Metal Madness. Metallic Madness. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play so far. I hope you stick around for the last episode of the Let's Play where we finally take on Titanic Madness or Titanic Monarch as Knuckles. And I will see you next time.